we're going to look at methods of cutting concrete blocks. We're going to look at three methods, hammer and bolster, grinder and a block splitter. But first off we'll look at hammer and bolster method. But what you want to start with is a nice flat surface because if the surface is uneven the block's just going to break in the wrong point. But we're going to put it on another block because it's on there. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut a, a four inch cut which is one of those common cuts for your corners. Cut a four inch cut with all these methods and just see which one is best basically. So what you want to do first is just hook your tape on the end like that and we're looking for four inch or hundred mil. The way I do it is just make a mark like that. And follow that through. Don't hit it too hard but hit it hard enough to make an impression. And then on the top and mark it again on the other side. Another thing worth noting is most bolsters are four inches wide so you can just put it on the end of the block and turn it like that which will give you your, your width. I keep going round And you can go a bit harder now as you go around. This block is quite old, so it'll be a bit harder to cut than some blocks which are quite fresh. You can increase how strong you tap it now. And now you can give it a good whack and you should get a nice clean break. So the hammer and bolster. If you've got any bits sticking out like that, it's something called a scutch hammer, which is this, it's got the combs on the end, which you can replace. And you can just use this to hit any bits that are sticking out off. There you go. If the blocks are a bit fresher, you probably won't get bits sticking out so much. It'll cut a bit easier. You've got to go all the way around the block for a clean cut like that. Next method now is the angle grinder. We're going to mark the block up the same. I've got a resin chalk marker that you can use a pencil. So we're going to go on 100 mil or four inches. That. Mark it through. Because this grinder will only cut through a depth of 70 mil, we're going to have to mark both sides. If you've got a bigger grinder that will cut through 100mm then you need to mark it once. That. I always have to make sure I've got my lead behind me so there's no risk of me going through the lead on grinding. Uh, make sure you've got your ear defenders, mask and goggles on. Let the grinder do the work, don't force it, otherwise it'll start to bite. It's actually not the best cut in the world app, but it gives you an idea. That's that one. And then the next method we'll go on to is the block splitter. Okay, all that happens with this is, block slides in, and these two plates there is what cut the block. So it's just the top one moves, and it'll force the plate down, and it brings it down to this one. These are spring-loaded. You can either mark the block first and put it in, or mark the block while it's in. I mark the block. 
lock while it's in, but again, either or. And again, these are all blocks, so that'll take a bit more cutting, a bit more force on the lever than the usual block. So we'll just look around 100mm, sight down to make sure it's square in the cutter, and just pull the handle. They are, there's no trimming with that. Compare all the cuts. Got this one, which is the block splitter. This one, which is the hammer and bolster. This one is a disc cutter. If you've got a block splitter, these win hands down every time. Obviously they are quite expensive and they're a bit to lug around. So if you're doing small jobs, hammer and bolster is probably the quickest. Grinder, even though this cut isn't the best, grinder would be the neatest and you can do angles easily with them. They've all got the pros and cons, but that's three different ways of cutting a block.